Sonu Lavran is back with yet another Bro She So Mean series. Sonu Ke Tito Ki Sweetie hits screens this Friday and turns out the plague of evil women continue to rule Ranjan's universe. Ranjan dismissed any criticism of his movies by declaring that had these manipulative characters been boys, nobody would have raised an eyebrow. Had these boys been as one tone and without a single redeeming qualities like his heroines are, pretty sure we would. All the women in all his successful movies are pegged as these one-dimensional monsters. They are either the moping, annoying type and the cause of the hero's frustration, or they are the controlling, conniving type who trigger emotional trauma in the men. The problem isn't just how caricaturish these characters are. The problem is that these caricatures are indicative of a problematic mindset that views women as wicked, who with their modern ideas are out to ruin men. There is a pattern here. These women are not only objectified and viewed through the male gaze, they are also demonized for not conforming to the ideas that men want them to. And that's true for his latest film as well, which probably intended to subvert the romance versus bromance formula and offer insight into the new age Bollywood love story. It doesn't even have the self-awareness or the warmth of the men will be men Hollywood rom-coms like Wedding Crashers or Knocked Up. Instead, it, it is intent on peddling problematic gyan of how harmful women are in general for the well-being of the brother of the society. And that's something that has given Love Ranjan his super hits. In a world where Me Too and Times Up campaigns are changing the narrative in the way women are perceived and treated, in an era where we are crying hoarse to explain that feminism is not about hating men, but simply about being viewed as people, we are stuck with misogynistic films such as these. If this one proves to be a box office success, we will, in all probability, see another Love Ranjan film that champions hashtag pros before hoes, hashtag not all men, hashtag saved men from feminism. We can strive for better rom-coms without turning it into a boys versus girls thing. It is 2018 after all. True.